Hallo, Web. Ihr habt jetzt kein Kommando von hier, Dom Downstairs. Check my phone. Oh. oh. Okay. Wait, what? Hallo, Web. I just got your text. What do you mean by your dog? Hello? Chidi? Hello? What do you know, no, 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 Chidi? Chidi, please stop with this jealous talk! Oh my god, pick up, pick up, pick up! Oh my goodness! Chidi! Chidi, please don't talk about this now, Chidi! I swear, if you hadn't called me, I wouldn't have known you were here. How you doing, bro? Sweetheart, baby, you didn't tell me you were coming. You guys want to prank me. I know what this is, huh? Mm, how are you, baby? I know what this is. You guys are trying to prank me, right? Let me sit down. Yeah, sure. Yeah, what's up, bro? Come on. Femi, there's something very important I want to talk to you about. Okay. I'm all ears. Um, you see, I I came back because I heard that you proposed to Kewe. Yeah, yeah, but there's no problem. You see, we still have a couple of months to plan, and there's a lot of time for us to, you know, do whatever we need to do. I and Kewe have been dating for a couple of months now. So you're, you're pranking me, right? We want to get married. No, 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 no. Babe, this is not a prank. Femi, you see, I I still want you to be my best man, though. Just like how I would be yours if you asked me to. Priya. But we're still best friends forever. Priya, you're supposed to be my best friend. Femi, we're still best friends. Babe, I loved you. I'm sorry. I loved you with everything. Priya. And I'm sorry. You just made yourself an enemy. Watch your back. Femi. Watch your back. Femi, 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 chill. Why are you crying? See your face. What's happen? Talk now! She didn't talk to me. What? He didn't just talk to me. He did it over a text. Can be over a text for good years. Four years. Oh, my love. Four years. For good years. Oh, sorry. 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 Stop crying. Sorry. For I have a plan. We kidnap him. Torture him for three months. You won't even know when we are done. But we use your car so that when police want to arrest us, they will not come and arrest me for what I did not do. 
Ricardo. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Why? Well, the cook went to be working on. Eh, we kidnap him after. See, it's even better. Revenge is well said. Cool. The almost suspected thing. You won't think you're the one. After we carry him. Yeah. No, no, do me spread. I'm so dumb with spread. See, my sister. I'm with men too. I'm so dumb with men too. Yeah. I'm dumb. What do you mean you are done with me? You have four boyfriends, can you four? My love, keep up. I said I am done with men, not that men are done with me. Uh-uh, this is what they done to you. This is why. Bob, yeah. it's not my fault. Yeah. Yeah. I swear. This is not even fine. He's telling people to give me to ugly babies. Oh, my God, dear Bob. Nah, nah, mommy. I'm not going to say I've spoke her daughter. Jesus. What's this? Oh, I'm sorry now. Sorry. She's ready to steal one girl. Yeah. Come on. You can't be serious. No, 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 no. No, this is not happening. Wait. Let me see if I get the story straight. You're in a relationship with Kerry, which I know of. Over four years. And you say Priya just comes from no place and he wants to work. No, no, listen to me. I'm talking to you. Priya just comes from no place and he wants to work. Kerry. I don't get it. They've been seeing each other for several months. You're playing. My best friend. Or my fiance. <laughs> you know, this could actually make a movie. Oh, Sano Bois. Look, if someone could ever tell me Priya could do something like that, I would never believe. And if anyone could tell me that Kevin would do this to me, I'll never believe it myself. My mother loved her. And you know my mother doesn't love anyone. Oh, okay. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. What I've been thinking. As a matter of fact, I've been doing some research. I, I'm researching for some monasteries in Tibet. Stop playing. I'm not playing with you too, bro. The era of lovey dove is over for me. I'm done with women. Any woman that comes my way now, I'll wreck her. Listen, bro. Everything's gonna be alright. I promise. I think so. I know so. Come on, let me buy you a drink. Wait, Kalista? Why Kalista? It doesn't make any sense to me. I, like, I practically begged for you. It actually makes sense. Mm -hmm. It does. What makes sense? My sister, to be listening to you and to be looking at her body now, I know she does not mind. But the boss knows that I don't need these things with my pitches. I don't! It's like he's trying to say that I'm not bright enough and I need her to come sell her body for, for my pitches to fly. He knows. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's just putting her there for in case. Who's in case? Men are moved by what they see. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. See, I don't, I don't want to face Wala. Ah, I beg. I'm sorry, Jai. Things just the vex. You guess I. I don't get anything. I never even chop. Drink anything, come visit me. Come in. Ah, I don't miss that office at all. I can't stress enough how much we need this. With the Crown Beer fiasco and that influencer thing last year, we've been sinking. I thought the Yamoto account gave us good money. If I had two of your type, I wouldn't even worry. But I don't. That's why I'm putting you on this account. Nothing must go wrong. We must have this. Uh, Ma'am, if I may ask, who else is bidding against us? Hmm. All the usual suspects. I don't. Means marketing. They just threw their hat into the ring. I'll handle it. Let me make this clearly. If you don't get this, you don't have a company and you don't have a job. 
and you know you've made so many enemies in our industry that it will be so difficult for you to get into another place. I totally understand. It's a do or die. Exactly. I'm glad we had this talk. Sorry. Mm. Is it what happened? Are you okay? I'm okay. It's nothing serious. I was driving and uh, I had an ulcer attack. So I parked and this good Samaritan saw me. She brought me to the hospital. She just left now. Oh, I think I bumped into her. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even say thank you. <laughs> She's probably an angel. Angels, we don't need to thank them. Easy, easy. I'm but fine. You were okay this morning. Mm. Don't know what aggravated the ulcer. Easy. Easy. I'm okay. The doctor says I'll be discharged soon. I just mm. need some drugs. And, uh, Okay, so is that what you need me to do, get you some? Mm, yes, please, just meet the, meet the nurse for the list, you get it at the pharmacy. Okay, what else do you need? Um, maybe you could call the mechanic to drive my car. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go home soon, just get me the drugs. Yeah. Alright, I'll go get your drugs, but I, I have to go back to the office. Okay, the mechanic so will drive home. me home, okay. Alright, be good, mom. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, bye. My God, no! Well, 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 oh my God, yes. Because I was just standing there. You know, my face was swelling. I couldn't breathe. I didn't know what was happening in my body. And then my guy just says, hey, you drink this. I'm like, what's that? He says it's a Benadryl. Oh, that's a good call from the friend. Yes, I know, but I thought I was being poisoned. Because the initial reaction that I passed you was as a result of what I ate in this place. And here's this guy bringing me another drink. Almost as if he's trying to complete his mission. Is he mad? Uh -huh. So what not happened? I oh, trust my guy, it was very persuasive. He practically forced the Benadryl down my throat. Eventually, after a few hours, I was as good as new. You see? Your friend was smart. Yes, he was smart. And that explains why I want to date a pharmacist. Oh. You see, if I have you by my side every step of the way, especially in parties, I won't have this kind of trouble to contend with. So you really want to date a pharmacist because of safety? Well, if she is as pretty as you are, oh. that will be an added advantage. You know, come to think about it. Sorry, please. If you guys are done with your mating dance, I'd like to get some drugs for my mouth. Here comes the queen of savage. Well, some of us have things to do. Really? Okay, Mrs. Dewey's. You know, anyone that sees you, looking at you from head to toe, will probably think that you're perfectly normal. But in reality, there are some nuts loosened up here, but I can see it. It's people like you that ask people like her for expired drugs so they can eat their drug habits. Or, better still, change the expiry date so you can resell them. You know, you know, since you walked into this place, you know what I've been thinking? If you have a man. And if you do, I'd like to have his number so I can call him to come take this thing out of this place. And I can't help myself but think how he manages to cope with you. Managing all this malicious human being. Especially knowing that you have hormonal imbalance. Hormone? My man? Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. I do have a number I can give you. Oh, really? I can give you a surgeon's number so that he can find what passes for your brain and reattach it. How about that? My friend, answer me. How much is it? Yeah, what a woman. On the contrary, though, I do find her attractive. I mean, she's so strong. Do you happen to have a number? 
Or did she by any chance drop her name? Maybe for the invoice or whatever it's it. Alright, I'm sorry. Oh, see you later then. What is this? What is this? What is what? She probably took my own phone. Probably took your own phone in your dreams, brother. A woman like that, I'm sure she she thought you stole the phone. Why would she think about a thing like that? Why would I steal her phone and replace it with my own phone? The both phones cost the same. Dummy, is she not the same person that accused you of fraud? Oh yeah, she said something like that. Man, she's so mean. And you like her. I, I see that you're quivering your lips. You, you, you like her. Femi, talk now. <laughs> no, I, 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 don't, I, I don't like her. You do like her. And I can see your body. Your body's even shaking. <sighs> oh, man, how do I get across to her, man? I need to get my phone back. Call her. Her phone's right here, bro. That's the whole idea. She has your phone. Oh, my God. What, what was I thinking? Confusion, confusion. That's why I'm the smartest. Oh, shut up. That's why yeah. I'm the smartest. <laughs> yeah, so I was saying that's what happened. Send to know board in the world. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know you have to let it go. Yes. I don't know. Anyway, you continue this later, right? Yeah. Nice having you today. One time, bro. I'm like, very Hi, uh, here's your phone. Can I have mine? <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I booked an appointment with a surgeon. That's you requested. When is the procedure? Tomorrow morning. I hope it's successful. You really need it. I hope so too. I, I uh, could really use a, a dinner companion. Considering the fact that I'll be embarking on a life-threatening procedure, if you don't mind, it might be my last meal. Please. Will you sit down? Meal. So, um, my name's Femi. Olivia. Before we take her uh, our dinner, can I order you a drink? What would you like to have? Anything without alcohol is fine. Without alcohol, okay. Coke and lime, please. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry for butting into your conversation and calling you a drug counterfeiter. <laughs> Well, uh, actually, I am a drug counterfeit. <laughs> look at the look on your face. So priceless. <laughs> oh my god, I got you there. I was just messing with you. I guess I deserve it. Ah, yes, you did. Well, uh, I also apologize for disregarding you, man. I'm sure he's a pretty nice guy. He's an ass. Well, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. How do you guys do it? Do what? You walk up to a woman and you start up a conversation with her. You have no idea what she likes, what her proclivities are. Nothing. You just start up a conversation on the spot. Well, someone has to start the conversation, ain't it? I mean, women have generally accepted that they shouldn't be the ones to start up conversations. So, what do you think? We have to start up the relationship. And someone has to end it. Let me guess. That break. Well, let's just say... I'm done with men. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As our tradition, we are ending the night with our couple's day. Can I have you clapping? And I'll be back for the price. Thank you. Hey. 
This is our thing. I mean, we, we, we can do this, all right? We need to do this. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. No, we don't. But we can. I, I, so listen, I really love puzzles. I love competitions. I love challenges. And I don't have a partner right now. I could use a partner. Would you, would, would you like to be my partner? Please? Come on. Okay, if I do this, you leave me alone? Okay, if you do this, I promise you, you will never ever see me again. I cross my heart. Deal? I'm back again. And the couples with the highest point, we are entertained with dance and go home with the prize. Can I hear you clapping? Clap, 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 clap. Thank you. Brotherly. Who is number one? Who wins the show? Who wins the game? You? Mara, who wins the game? You? Mara, who wins the game? Bro. You don't know. And the winner is? Well, I, I guess the, 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 let the best person win, right? Wow, I have introduced to you the winner. And you are the winner. Can I clap? Oh my God, we won, we won. <laughs> we won. We won, we won. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Well, you should have this. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, so fluffy and fluffy. <laughs> I'm glad that you're happy. So, um, how about Ozzy? Cool. The dude who broke your heart so bad. Well, it was perfect, actually, the best. And then he decides he doesn't want me anymore. No signs, no warning, nothing. There are always signs, trust me, there are always signs. Are you speaking from experience? Well, I was about to get married. And, uh... I thought she was the one, you know. But it turns out that she wants to get married to my best friend. You know, it's quite obvious that you're so hurt from your ex, okay? You don't need to put it all on me simply because I'm telling you the truth. Good evening, Mom. <sighs> so late. <sighs> Mom, I'm not 16. I no longer live with you. You live with me. There's a difference. There is no difference, young lady. Besides, you will always be my child. Anyways, I got my phone mixed up with someone's and I had to go get it back. Stayed for a couple of drinks and then we played this couple's game thing. <sighs> Hence the teddy bear. Mm. It's so good to see you out there once again after a chidi. Mm? Perhaps you can invite your new friend to my birthday party. I invited lots of young people, you know. Oh, no one is getting out anywhere. And I'm not inviting him as an ass. And why is he a backside? Because he is. He's just like Chidi. First they pretend to care, then they show their true colors. <laughs> Have I ever told you how I met your father? No. Hmm. We met at a mutual friend's party. He was loud and arrogant, and I hated him from get go. <laughs> Wait, then how? Hmm. 
I found out later that all that was to mask a heartbreak. So I soothed him. And the rest is history. <laughs> yeah, well, gone are the days when men used to be that simple. Men have never been simple. Yeah, well, now you have no idea what they're up to. I'm just, I'm done with all of them. They can all go jump into the lagoon. All I am saying is that some of the best relationships started off in the worst ways. And all I'm saying is if Chidi and I were the last people on earth, well, human race is going to go extinct. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, dear. <laughs> Guy, <laughs> mm. these two times I don't meet this girl. Yeah. But again, I will I say, you know the crazy, you don't get off putting. You know. Any smoothie, she don't para. Just the para. Any money, just the para. Keep quiet. You, I'm sure that, I, I, I'm sure you don't catch the fish. You don't catch them as fish. Where you gonna use the chop, the cure for night? Man, don't lie to you. That girl on a speck. <sighs> but the problem is, it can't be like bone really love person inside truth. Do you know that it's because of this girl I couldn't follow up on that pharmacy, babe? <laughs> oh my God! You never listen to me. Girls in this town are depressed, depressed. That's why I always advise all my guys: look for the simple ones. You know, nurse type, cook you small goosey, cook you small farm, <laughs> and you know, give you small something at night as well. <laughs> that they feel you, bro. But oh um, man, see this time. Eh? I suggest you just focus on this um, Horizon Telecoms issue and start it out once and for all. For now, let's forget about women. Focus on the job, man. No women for now. If I hear, if I hear. So all those girls that are in your DMs, social media, screaming, I love you. Femi, please. Femi, this. Femi, that. What's going to happen to them? Then they my case now that they give them peace. But I tell you, you see all these girls sitting in a relationship in the family. I may not get out of time now. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, watch this, Okada. Well, they say all of them, no worry. Well, I'm not doing. Hello. Sorry, why can I do my accreditations? Okay, you can take the Mm-hmm. Babe, I'm coming. Yes, yeah, sure. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Oh, please, can you direct me to the restroom? Okay, you can take the place from the right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, What's up? Uh, hello. You're welcome. Uh, can you do please? He's tall like Bosch Khalifa. Sorry, ma'am. Please, can you turn it off? It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. I'm Michael. Kalista. Mm, Kalista. I like that name. Very nice name. Sound like pepper hot sauce. And I like pepper hot sauce. <laughs> uh, what, what's a woman like you doing here? You're not wearing the. Alright. You're like somebody's side chick or something. I, I didn't mean any. I, a woman like me. I, I'm just, <laughs> it's an You're like, sweaty. There's no element. Uh uh. Shocker. I fit right into the space. You, on the other hand, you're sticking out like a really soft thumb. So the question should be, do you even fit here? Look, I, I didn't mean... Uh, uh, uh. Now that's my seat you're sitting on. And obviously you heard the lady, she doesn't want to talk to you, so please, skid out of What do you... What do you mean? Hell no. That's my guy. Now what the hell are you doing here? Hold on a second, do you work here? No, I came here for a meeting. I know you're safe. The crazy lady I told you about, she's the one. Hey, we. I don't know crazy can wear Chanel and look good like that. Um, uh, by the way, are you also here to pitch for your account? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> this one is not old, man. Crazy dressed in Chanel. Let's just take flyer and go. Go to where? Are you okay? Why? Honorably. Let's just raise our shoulder up and carry flyer and go. We can't win against these people. We're not going anywhere, okay? No, no, listen. Listen. Listen to me. I'm the strategy. You're the man, all right? And if this company wants to make some money, definitely don't pick us. 
and no set of boobs is going to convince them otherwise. Yes. Look at that. No set. Have you seen how i Oh, sure. If I'm the CEO, the thing will convince me, oh, let me not lie. What's Just fact. Oh, um, yeah. you know what? Let's go register. Hmm? Okay, then. Yeah. I am Femi Janite and my colleague Michael Omobok, representing Tarawa Ventures. We, we are quite aware that you've had a long day and we promise not to bore you with um, unnecessary information in our pitch, but to make it very, very short and quick. Our strategy ensures that everyone who has spent time and money on the network is being retained and also gives us more money. How do we do this? It's very simple. We channel all our energy to the streets. By streets, I'm referring to the masses. For instance, I was raised in the suburbs of the mainland and I can give you as first-hand information that what penetrates the market is very effective service times low price. It doesn't really matter how it looks like. What matters is it is well delivered at a very, very low cost. The cost of your campaign is almost twice as that of um, mint marketing. Yet you claim um, you make us more money immediately, maybe even more than that of mint. But what if it doesn't work out the way you planned? Or what if there is no traction? Sir, my name is Michael. I am the one in charge of numbers. Uh, our company guarantees you uh, uh, somewhat uh, of some sort of a contingency plan, uh, something like a backup, just in case anything goes wrong. And um, our colleagues are ready to run you through the numbers whenever you're ready. Well, I think we will have our people to look out the numbers. And that was a very good and lovely speech. We will get back to you guys when we make our decisions. Lovely work. Well thought out. We'll consider you and get back to you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Much appreciated. Good day, ma'am and sirs. Uh, my name is Olivia Mwameka, and this is this is Kalista Unwoko, and we're from Mint Marketing. Um, I'm just going to let uh, Kalista do the presentation. Kalista, Kalista. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the presentation. Good, good morning. Um, so. <clears throat> After much brainstorming, we have come to the conclusion that this would be the best approach going forward. Now, we're in 2022, everything, I mean everything, is on, on social media, from marketing to advertisement to basically everything is done there. So uh, we're going to use the social media power. By this, I mean we'll use the likes of the comedians, skate makers, content creators, um, influencers, in general, which already have a large following on uh, um, their social media platforms. So it's simple. Most of the time, where they go, that's where the followers go. So this way, we don't have to do so much convincing. Oh, we get, we get the herd of uh, the leader of the herd, then the herd will follow. Yes. When we called you guys back, yeah, because Taro has already given us a lovely presentation. But how do we reach out to the mechanics, bricklayers, market women, the villagers who are not on social media? That's how do we reach out to them for them to make, make things work out? And we not, they will not spend much money. Uh, basically, what we can do is give this 
everyday people a package that makes them feel like they're saving more while they're actually spending more. That way they feel like they're saving and wearing their, we have their backs, basically. So guys, I think they both had a good presentation. Yeah. I think we have to invite them to the resort for final screen. Or what do you guys think? Okay. I'll put them call across to their buses then. It's okay, Bami. I think it's fine. Mm. Ah, congratulations. The MD just called me that you did so well, and I'm so impressed. Thank you, Sam. I know you might want to ask me whether we've got the job already. <laughs> no, he just called me to congratulate us for our pitching, but this was quite good. Um, it was quite good, all right? So congratulations to you both. Thank you, uh, and I know you well, lost your voices, but we'll bring it back. We'll bring it back. All right? Yeah. A little bit. Don't bring it back again. All right? <laughs> okay, now. All right? Uh, but you wait behind. Uh, you need to discuss it. It's okay, Olivia. No problem. Congratulations. We'll get your voices back, huh? <laughs> uh, Good. Uh, you need to see the end. You make him happy, you know that? All right, yeah. Okay, dear. Uh -uh. <clears throat> okay. 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 Wonderful. I'll do that. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, teach. He's not making waves. It was good. I know it was good. I, I mean, I, I think it was good. Right, Mike? It, it, it was good, man. It, it's just that they brought in a nuclear weapon. A girl, actually. And she was a problem. And she was trouble. So why didn't you take him? Because if you needed eye candy. Mother, I really do not. I, I, I'm, I don't think I'm very comfortable using women that way. Femi, I understand your feminist point of view, but millions of women use their bodies to get what they want every day. But I don't like, I mean... The no. argument is, do they mind or not? They're not being forced. Because we don't have a problem doing this. All right. Next time then. Now I have to do backdoor channels to see if I can do some damage controls. Next. Excuse me. Yeah. When you say back to challenge, hmm. Babes, how did it go now? The presentation? Can you believe that that idiot, that fool, that goat was there, that dog, Who? the nonsense guy that, that took my phone now? Are you serious? How? What was he doing there? Yeah, what's <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Oh, really? Like, I was so angry that I had to tell Kalista to do, to do the pitch. You know how much I hated Kalista doing the pitch now? Like, I would rather Kalista does the pitch than lose to that guy. That is sanctimonious idiot. This guy vexes you. He vexes me, no be small. <laughs> oh, calm down now. The guy there, yeah? Hey, babe. Oh, father, I'm But. Mm -mm, don't change my to you promised to me, Boga. The only money I have now can only afford Amala. But why you rise? I asked you for food. Like Boga, Boga, for you go chop or you no go chop? You need to have me give.
Olivia, Kimi and Perry will be accompanying you on this. Kimi will act as a buffer between you and Kalista, and no will do to war. And of course, Perry is the chief strategist. I don't need to remind you of the importance of this speech to us. You must do everything humanly possible to clinch it. Sir, I'm not sure I follow. We have a visitor. Who? Sorry, okay. I behaved wrongly. Okay, I, I said some things I shouldn't have said. I apologize. I regret everything. What is this? Um, this is me apologizing to you. This is this is me saying I'm sorry for everything. I didn't mean anything I said. All right, please take me back. I don't get it. You wanted me to go, leave you alone. No. Uh, oh. That's that's not exactly how it happened, but okay. Listen, let me explain. All right, bye. Okay. Um. I got I got caught up with this with this older woman, a client. And things just got, you know, really interesting. And she messed with my head. Really, I didn't mean for things to go the way it did. And now she has dumped you, Abby? Um, not exactly. I, I found out something. I found out she was married and with kids. Olivia, look, let me not go into details about that. I'm here now, apologize. Let's fix this, okay, this one time, please. Listen, I don't have time for this, okay? I have a work thing. Okay, um, uh, can we, can we talk sometime? Alone? Please. I'll uh, send you the address to where I'm at. Okay. Home and then we'll sit and talk. Uh, I have to go now. Okay. Uh, oh.
you are a very stupid boy. Yes, ma'am. And I do not like stupid people. I'm sorry, ma'am. You are not invited to my birthday party. Okay. Wait, um... Is that some sort of a hint? There is a birthday party? It's not a hint. You are not invited. Even if you bring a very expensive gift. Does that mean if I bring an expensive gift, I'll be allowed to come? I am not telling you anything. Except that the party is next week, Saturday. Don't come. Okay, ma'am. I won't come. I promise. You're here. Uh, hi. P please sit. Uh, uh, would you like something to drink? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, th th that's fine then. Uh, Olivia, I know this is really hard for you. Okay, I, I treated you badly, but I'm back to my senses now. And that is why I want to make things right with us. Okay, please. The problem isn't that you came back to your senses. The problem was that you did this in the first place. Cheated on me and then kicked me to the curb. Oh, Olivia. Olivia, what can I do to make this right? I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm no longer myself. I can't eat. I, I can't sleep. What do you want? I really want you, but look, I, I can't live without you. Mm. So, you know all that one, I've been doing any help, eh? Olivia, don't tell me you're taking this guy back. We're just talking. This is not just talking. This is dinner for two. Your room is just even there. This guy just served you breakfast, and you are here doing lobby dobby with Can him. Can me? We're just talking. Well, I'm not in support. Just so you know, if she will listen to me, you won't even be here. Like, she won't even take you back. Never, ever. Just talk here. Come on. What? What? Listen, Olivia, you, you, you don't have to listen to her, okay? There's no way in this life I'll ever treat you like that again. Ever. Please. Just this, this one last time. <sighs> I'll think about it. Okay. 
I get it. smoothly. Yes, we had a good day. Okay, ma'am. trying to avoid chauvinistic men. Yeah, I know the likes. A rare machine. Not as rare as you might think. Somehow they've managed to uh, invade this place. By the way, congratulations. I heard it you had an amazing pitch. I heard yours was good too. Thank you. Oh, even though you cheated though, I mean, you brought in your colleague, that was very low of you. Still, you're here. Your pitch must have been something. Take it easy, I don't bite. Except, of course, you want me to. <laughs> She's laughing. That's a good sign, huh? No, it's not. One minute, I'm laughing with you guys. The next minute, I'm left in premium tears. The dude. That was him, right? Ah, uh, you know what I think? He has finally returned back to his senses. I want you back. And guess what I'll say? He can rot in hell. I thought you were on his side. Oh, what was it you said again? You said I was uncontrollable, what, clingy, and uh, what was it? Oh yeah, hot-tempered, and all of that. Yes, and all of that. You know what, you can actually be all of that. You're actually all of that. But, if you love me, I wouldn't mind all of that. Listen, it's the simple. If you love me, I'll have to accept your bad, as well as your good. Because if your bad wasn't there, then maybe you would have ended up with someone better than me in the first place. Come on, let's go somewhere else. Let's go have some fun. Come on, let's go. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right. Mm. So where are we going? Wow. What an evening. <laughs> okay, good night. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had fun. Me too, I had fun. We won another competition together. Yeah, yeah. We make an amazing team. It's so sad we're 
on opposite sides. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good night. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, time to go, right? Mm. Yes, who is it? Kenny. <laughs> no, 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 we don't like him. <laughs> and you're dressed like this. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Did you talk? You know? I will talk. I will talk. Mm, but listen, with this one now, she is in the past. All men are in the past. Oh, my sister, this one is in this year with the chief job. Soon. Yes. Yes. Stop! Uh, I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like him. But see how you're dressed. Trying to drive him crazy, Abby. Is there your eyes? I see him. Covered it in, showing too much. It's showing, it's showing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't be shy. Let's go. Let's go. Can you at least wait for me to wear my shoes? He's wearing his shoes. And I'm wearing slippers. And we don't like him. Get more. <laughs> hey, I need to find my own book. <laughs> okay, my thanks, boo, I mean. <laughs> I, was, I was just about to do Let's shut go. You do a good job. Can you shut up and get out of here? <laughs> oh my god, you were so great. Look at your move, like... I mean, did you train under Michael Jackson? Please, I don't know what you did. <laughs> but seriously, you did really great. You have all the moves, you know. Hello. Hello. You guys actually won the dance competition. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So whatever you want, Drinks on the house. Yes, we won that. We won the high five. <laughs> Drinks on the house. <laughs> you both look so good together. <clears throat> no, we're not. On the contrary, she she actually hates me. I don't hate you. I'm seeing See. something different right now. Yeah, but but the other time she asked me to go see a brain surgeon to have myself checked up. Just to see if I don't have a break. And he said I was too clingy, hot tempered. And you're saying you're not together. No, we're not. Definitely not. This whole chemistry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm seeing a lot here. Mm -mm. A lot is going on here. Talk to me. A lot is going on here. Okay. Thank you very much. Ms. Nothing. Major. Okay. You're welcome. Enjoy your stay here. And um, once again, the drinks on the house. Thank, Thank you. you very, Congratulations very much. once again. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah. Can you stop staring at me like that? You staring at me? I mean, I caught you staring at me. <laughs> You're so pretty. Excuse, 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 excuse. So? Madam, it is you. Who? Who else? Tell me now. Show you where Freddie came to pop and down yesterday night. Actually, Chidi's still around. He called me that he wanted to see me outside. Wait, Ch Chidi's still here? Well, not after what happened last night. What happened last night? Wait, wait, wait. Tell me you gave him a piece of your mind. No. He saw me kissing them. He stopped and stormed off. You slept with him. No. No, no, no. We are thinking about it. 
Maybe. Stop. What? Stop. I'm serious. Like, remember, this is a work thing. So you have to stay focused. Let's get this deal. This guy is the enemy. So yes, whatever you have, whatever you have in mind for this guy, when we are done with this deal, you can go ahead. But right now, babes, focus. I like Mambo for this time. Focus. We'll get this thing first. Where are these people? They should be here by now. Yo, Mike, man, you can't believe the kiss I just had. Like, her lips were so luscious. I've never had a kiss like that before. See, it tasted like it tasted like honey. Like wait, 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 slow down, bro. Her lips tasted like honey, damn right. No kick. No, honey. I don't like honey, yeah. Come on, man. Everybody likes it. I don't. Oh, but you get the message, right? You get my point. You get the drift. Look, bro. I'm not in the mood for this, your honey. Or I just came here to just sit down, focus on the mission, and that's it. So what's the mission? The mission is to crush them. It's to crush them in that office when we get there. And with no ounce of mercy. Not one. And I don't know this one that you're daydreaming like this because when we do cross them, which we will, she might not want to see your face again. Have you thought about that? I, I, don't, I don't get it. You know you actually made a valid point. Of course now. Eventually we will crush them. But what about you, man? You've been hitting on Kalista. I bet you're trying to get her down already. Oh. Uh, we will see her again, bread. You don't go chop her. <laughs> but uh, I must tell you, I'm not going to hang on to Kalista too much. Nobody the whole Kalista could I decree. Well, yeah, I really don't understand you sometimes. But you know the thing is, I actually think me and Olivia can work. I, I really want to make it work. I love that girl. Look, listen to me. Listen to me clearly. I'm your friend. And I wish nothing but the best for you. You need to focus on the money. The ladies are everywhere. Look at that one. Look at that one in the water. Beautiful. But you need money. Focus on the money and you have all the respect. I promise you. Focus. You need to focus on the matter. When I think about my mother, I forgot. <laughs> Eyes get... on the prize, right? <laughs> Eyes on the prize, bro. <laughs> I need a drink, bro. Right? Yes, uh, uh, what are? Bring a. Uh... Strawberry lips flavor. Honey flavor. <laughs> Honey flavor. <laughs> and I come. I kiss Kalisa and her mouth will taste like shakuka. If not that hard, this is... <laughs> Olivia. Hi. Hi. Okay. I know we don't see eye to eye or almost anything, but, well, everything. <laughs> okay. But there's something I've been willing to tell you, and it is that I kind of, kind of, a little bit admire you. <laughs> really? Yeah. And I also know about your boyfriend breaking your heart. Yeah, Kemi has a very loud voice. Fine, that's not my point. The point is, it's hard for us women. It's not like we have a billion opportunities lining up for us. So we each have to find what works for us and use it to get ahead. I have this. And you have this. Thank you. All I'm saying is use it. What? You can be so smart at work and be stupid in life. Oh, sorry, that sounded like an insult. That's not, that was not it. Sorry. I'm just saying that I see the way Femi looks at you. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. We, I, we're not. Yes, yes, I get it. You're nothing right now, but that doesn't stop you from exploring whatever it is you feel for each other. 
And I know loud mouth Kemi is going to say, oh, there's so many fishes in the sea. <gasps> Olivia, don't give in and all that. But darling, there are hardly good fishes in the sea. And I would know because I'm there. There's something on the streets. And love like what I see that he has for you hardly comes by. So if, if, I just feel like if you don't give him an opportunity, you're going to regret it. All right? Just give him a chance. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is not me. <laughs> I'm not a good person, so I'll just go back to being Kalista. All right? Think about it. Thank you. Ladies, now that we are all here, I believe we can start, right? Okay, so we'll just get right into it. Um, yeah, so now that we are done with the SWOT analysis of the clients, what we need to do now is go back into our rooms, make use of our time, think about strategies that we can use to carry this whole procedure out. But before we go, I would... I guess maybe we should maybe bring out some strategies. Maybe, does anybody have a strategy that we could use to? Olivia? Any ideas? All right. Um, I think we should just move this thing to tomorrow. Yeah, let's just end it today. I'm going to tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Are you right there? What was that? Oh, so, Kalista is now your new best. You pull and I exchanging whatever you were exchanging. Listen, can we leave it alone? It's nothing, okay? Um, I'm looking for you. I need your advice or, on something. Okay. What is it? Kemi wants me to stay away. And Kalista wants me to follow my heart. Do I... I'm wary of our motive, but... 
Kalista speaks to my heart and Kemi speaks to my mind. So what do you do? Yes, who is right? You can be objective and you don't have any motive, so... Well, both are right. What? Yes, you should follow your heart, but not now. Look, if he really wants you, respects you and wants to keep you, then he'll wait. He will wait? Yes. So what, should I go and tell him now? No. Give it time, so you can put yourself together. Tomorrow morning, no. Thanks for the advice. You already know to hear this. You're welcome. Anytime. So I see you at dinner? Yes. No. I think I'll be having dinner in my room today because there's this book I really want to finish. I'm not doing it with you guys. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Somehow he's making her crazy over you. Excuse me. <laughs> Just ask her out already, okay? Yeah, super off her feet. She's going to play hard to get, she's going to resist, but trust me. That is what she wants. Kalista, did she tell you this? Come on, she doesn't have to tell me anything. I'm a woman and we work together. So you'll be doing all of us a favor because she's becoming unbearable these days. I, uh, I, um, I... Uh, 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 it's all right. I have everything sorted out, okay? Can I come in? Um, uh, okay, ready. that's a yes. So, let us see. more serious than just coming to the beach. Well, I know I did not discuss with you people what decisions I have taken and I'm going to announce today, but it's unfortunate that um, she's not. Olivia, you were brought here to help us make money. But you have decided not to make the money. And uh, Kalista here tells me that um, you have been um, hobnobbing and falling in love with them on the other side. I didn't understand that he is the head of, uh, of the section or what. You leave what you're doing and how to better this company 
and you are sleeping with the enemy. Shut up, my friend, when I'm talking. In any case, I have made up my mind that um, Kalista here will now present our pitch. And Perry, once we get the job, we're able to get it, you will manage it. And of course, the rest of you will join. Olivia, go and pack your things and leave. Since you do not want to belong to this organization or work for its progress. But if you decide at some point that you would want to come back and be part of our project, you know that it won't be that easy. You will have to work your way to the top. I'm done. So of course, that can happen to any one of you, you know that. No, not me, not me. I'm focused, sir. I hope so. Yes, sir. I mean, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened over there. Aren't you going to say something? Mike, you're turning your back on me now, Mike. Mike, I'm talking to you. All right, then. Go to hell. So that was a very good one. Thank you, Ma. Uh, <laughs> so where's the other lady, the intelligent one? I'm intelligent. Oh, you, you mean Olivia? Um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, something really bad happened. Some sort of family emergency. Yes, and so she couldn't stay. <sighs> so for the influencers, we called for the job. You see, as you can see, they are demanding for a lot of money. So I think we can get people that will pay lesser for it. So, how do you think? How do you guys think for it? Uh, I hope it's a good idea. Um, um, about no, that, uh, I think I understand. Yes, she, she, she can. She can. She can. Okay, so about the idea. You know what? Like she said, if the intelligence young lady is really good. No, I'm, I'm sorry. If um, our our boss, um, Chester City. Hello. Uh, she is the one we need. What am I saying?
sweetheart. I wasn't expecting you till the weekend. Young man, young man, young man. Hello, Mr. Man. Are you ready for your pitch? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you mean you come to this organization with a paper? Like seriously? You must be a comedian. All the months of hard work gone down the drain just because you were chasing women. No, I wasn't chasing. You better not be talking back at me right now, young man. I'm sorry. Now I have to do so much damage control that sending you in the first place was a mistake. Get out of my office. Mama, can I just explain? Get out. Do you remember that time? I think you were 16. Uh, then this boy down the street you had a massive crush on kissed a girl in front of you. Didn't have a massive crush on Jacob. Uh, you cried for hours. You thought you would die. I didn't cry for hours. <laughs> anyway, the moral of the story is that the next day, you got up, dressed nice, went to school, and ignored the boy. <laughs> then you started dating that other boy I didn't like. Routine me. <laughs> Routine me. <sighs> that boy smiled too much. <laughs> so am I going to... So I'm going to get over this too, right? No. I mean, you've gotten over Chidi. Now you can date this Femi character. No, no. He did this to sabotage me. He pretended he liked me also he could win. That doesn't even make sense. Well, it makes sense to me. <sighs> Look, you don't have to do anything about it right now. Hmm? Just focus on work and life will sort itself out. We're going to take some leave time. The office can function without me for now. See, all I know is don't let this your mood come and ruin my birthday for me. Don't come and spoil my day for me, please. And I want expensive presents. Your presence is not enough. I want presents. Let me come bring your food for you. Drag it to the office as per Yawoga. 
Go and wear your clothes. Let's go, Joe. Say the union rush for. But I, I have to change first. Yeah, yes, go and change. You cannot seduce him like this. Go and change. Go and wear proper clothes. But why didn't you just ask? Go and wear clothes. But you know you should have just asked, Abby. Uh, because we came to collect you now. Collect so. See, if not for the special place you have in my heart, I would have fired you immediately. So, about that, I didn't come to beg for my job. I came to tender my resignation letter. Really? You came to tender your resignation letter after the embarrassment you gave us? Is that it? Huh? No, sir. Uh, oh, who told you? Who told you about it? Who told me what? Oh, really? So this is your way of... Trying to arm twist me to give you a raise, right? So this is not about me asking for a raise. I just... I want to focus on myself for now. Okay. Now I'll give you 25% raise of your salary. Sir... Okay, 30% and no more word. All right, let's talk about the Horizon Telecommunication job. Yeah, we did. But ask him for only one thing. My dear. Mm -hmm. What a day. Hmm. Huh. That's how you just got the news, just like that. Mom, I'm just sorry. I'm replying congratulation messages. Hey. Like... You already posted. Oh, my sister. <laughs> I got a raise. <laughs> and did you not know, give me a... I went to your house to call you, carry you. Go and ask Alista. Mm -hmm. She be saying you big ass, big bum bum. So go ask her, your mentor. And the body said, do not sell again, no. I can't believe they fired her just like that. <laughs> well, I expect it. I'm not. She deserves it. <gasps> it shocked me. Oh, um, mom. I didn't tell you everything. Uh -uh. What happened? So we're going to have to be sharing the account with Aruba. Wait, so that means you'll be working with Femi? I don't know how I'm supposed to work in the same environment with him after everything that happened. How am I supposed to, like... Well, take this work. Just be professional. Do your part. Do your job. Just ignore him. So what? We we'll see and don't talk and then he thinks I'm giving him an attitude or haven't moved on from whatever happened or moved on. Whatever he thinks is not your business. Just do your part. Just work. It's work. Well, it's not as easy as you say it is. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Yeah. I'm a Kalista Shah. Someone. This is Tom. This is Junai to you. Hello, Ma. How are you? Thank you. Very well, thank you, Ma. Good afternoon, Ma. She's the good Samaritan that saved me when I had that attack. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. You are a gift. I don't even know how I can repay you. You can start by giving my son the second chance. I think you did too. Your son? Yes. Just one second, please. Hi. Hi. I think you two have a pending conversation.
Hmm. You know you really look amazingly stunning today. You look so beautiful. You know you're so manipulative. How? Your mom? I, I was taking her to the hospital for checkup that day. And then we saw your mother. She insisted that we help. Was that why you were at the pharmacy? Well, I had to refill of her medication. Well, that still doesn't excuse what you did to me. But listen, I think you may have misunderstood the entire thing. I didn't try to sabotage you. Kalista came to my room and told me that was what you wanted. I guess I threw caution to wind and before I knew it, all I ever wanted was your happiness. I just wanted you to be happy, okay? Nothing else, not the pitch, not the stupid competition. Nothing else, just you. I swear, I really need you to believe me, okay? Even if you don't love me anymore, even if we don't have a future together anymore. But please understand, I didn't try to sabotage you. So did you practice the kiss with Kalista? Of course not. So why was it so good then? I don't know, I... I, I guess I was trying to impress you. Well, it wasn't that good, I mean... Really? Yeah, it was like a seven. A seven? Yeah, a seven. Okay, seven and a half. Seven and a half. Well, that means I have a lot of work to do, right? Can you? Of course. Come here. Do you want to go back to the party? Um, well, maybe, but I think I like it right here. Just love it, right? Here. That's why your mother is almost the only one. Don't you people know that uh, uh, children might be watching? Hey, yeah, I tried calling you. You're not picking your call. Why will I pick my call? Uh, I was angry. Uh, uh, plus, you know this Castilla business. Calista. Uh, uh, Calista business. Uh, I had to give her a shoulder to lean on uh, uh, after she lost her job. You know you're one freaky guy, you know? Crazy or not crazy, look, I have to get back to the mission. She needs me. Wait, 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 wait. what mission? Uh, taking care of Calista now. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, when I was coming, I'm not sure. Did I hear cake with icing on it? With icing? Yep. You bet. With that honey forge something inside? Oh, oh yeah. Um, uh, we need to leave now. But let me just go. Can, can you go? Yeah, uh, let me. We'll, we'll join you. Let me just. <laughs> let me just see. Can that you go already? Right? Keep on yawning. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. The whole world to me. Yeah. But I can't give up my love.